Hello everyone, this is Anton Dinoid from PocketNow.com and this is the LG Optima 7 running Windows Phone 7 Mango Beta 2. In this video we're gonna take a look at the social integration in Mango Beta 2, especially at Twitter and LinkedIn, and how you can get updates from a certain contact once you link his LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Windows Live account to his contact card on your phone. So let's take a look. Okay, so we're back and let's check out the uh, settings and see how the accounts are looking while they are being set up. So as you can see, currently it's syncing. We have Windows Live, which is uh, compulsory. It's part of the setup process. Then uh, we have Facebook, which was uh, there also before the Mango Beta. Uh, we got my Exchange account and you can notice LinkedIn and Twitter. Now, once you set up Twitter and LinkedIn, it will connect to your Windows Live account so that when you sync Windows Live it will basically sync Twitter and LinkedIn too. Now let's jump back to uh, our contacts and uh, I will be using my colleagues uh, Adam Lane's contact card for this example and demonstration. We got Adam right here and uh, right now we only have him linked to our exchange account so it's a contact on our exchange server which was pulled down to the phone now from here we can link the contact to several other social networks as you can see the link button right there and let's see what the options are we have uh, twitter windows live facebook and linkedin and uh, tapping on these suggestions will link your contact to the appropriate contact on those social networkings. Now, you might notice that sometimes your contact in your Windows Live uh, contacts or on your Exchange account does have a different name than uh, your contact on Twitter, for instance. Uh, if you don't have the contact uh, listed, you can choose a contact from here and start typing his name. From there, you can choose to connect to a contact which dis is displaying his name in a different way on the other social network. And okay now getting back to the contact card which is now linked should display the new contact information and as you can see we got a new avatar and we've got the latest status update which uh, happened the latest so if for instance the latest activity is on Twitter you will have the Twitter activity here if it's on Facebook you will have the Facebook activity. Uh, we have it linked now to five social networks, to, so the contact card is linked to five contacts in total, one out of which is Exchange and the other ones are Windows Live, Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn. Now swiping to the left brings you the What's New screen which is totally integrated. Here you will see activity from uh, Twitter, also Twitter, 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 Facebook, LinkedIn, Messenger, so everything is aggregated in this What's New screen. Of course, pictures is nothing new. A history, you can see some uh, history between me and him, but what's really important is that now we are having and receiving updates from his social networks. Now, if we pin the contact to our start screen, you will see that once there is an activity either on Twitter or on Facebook, the live tile will animate in order to uh, bring you that certain update. Right now it only shows the name because the last activity has happened approximately 11 hours ago if I recall well. But once Adam for instance will tweet something his contact uh, information on the live tile will switch and you will see that certain update. Now let's get back and uh, see how maybe we can uh, send him a tweet. This is mentioned on Twitter and uh, we can send a hello message which is a public message it says hello we'll send this one and uh, Adam will receive it as a mention but you can also send a direct message now if in this mention on Twitter screen you will be entering a D as in direct message right before the handle so whoops I'm sorry so D the Twitter handle and uh, for instance test as your text your contact will receive that certain information as a direct message on Twitter if you have all your contacts set up properly then uh, your people hub 
should reflect all the updates according to how it's being set up. Currently we are receiving updates from everybody because we are having the all accounts set up. Whoops, let's get back. All accounts, but we can choose to filter uh, Windows Live, Twitter, LinkedIn and Facebook and let's just for the sake of argument select Twitter and now we see only the updates which are from our contacts on Twitter for instance um, we are seeing an update here a tweet from uh, from Brandon and we can easily retweet or post a reply so this was a short demonstration on how Windows Phone 7 Mango Beta 2 and hopefully uh, the final version will handle social integration. It's now got Windows Live, Twitter, LinkedIn and Facebook, the main social networks and we will be expecting Microsoft to add some more in the future. This was Anton Denight from PocketNow.com. Thank you very much for watching the Windows Phone 7 Mango 2 Beta Preview of Social Integration.